नमस्ते आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार आई एम क्लिनिकल डायरेक्टर ऑफ कार्डिक इलेक्ट्रोफिजोलॉजी वर्किंग एंड केयर हॉस्पिटल हैदराबाद एंड भुवनेश्वर टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द कार्डिक एरिथमिया वन ऑफ द रीजन फॉर द सडन डेथ्स एंड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिपोर्टेड थिंग एंड सेंसेशनल न्यूज विच इज कमिंग ऑन एंड ऑफ इन द मीडिया लेट एस लेट मी गिव द क्लैरिटी वॉट एरिथमिया इज सो एरिथमिया इज अ कंडीशन इन विच योर हार्ट रेट मे गो फास्ट और स्लो when it is going fast we call as a tachyarrhythmia and when it is going slow we call as a bradyarrhythmia so these are two spectrums of the heart beating related problem and this can happen to anybody means heart beating can go slow very fast when you are sleeping and when you are awake it can go very fast and when you are sleeping it can go very fast and when you are awake it can go very fast and when you are sleeping it can go very fast and when you are awake it can go very fast and when you are sleeping it can go very fast and when you are awake it can go very fast and when you are sleeping it can go very fast and when you are awake it can go very fast and when you are sleeping it can go very fast and when you are awake it can go very fast and when you are sleeping it can go very fast and when you are awake it can go very fast and when you are sleeping it can go very fast and when you are awake it can go very fast and when you are sleeping it can go very fast and when you are awake it can go very fast and when you are sleeping it can go very fast and when you are awake it can go very fast and when you are sleeping it can go very fast and when you are awake it can go very fast and when you are sleeping it can go very fast and when you are awake when the heart beating is going fast or slow unprovoked unprovoked and unphysiological means it is not physiology means if you are sleeping your heart rate should go slow if it is very fast in the night we will say that it is again a sort of uh, arrhythmia or we can say uh, inappropriate sinus tachycardia the same thing if the if you are walking running your heart rate is not picking up we say that the heart beating is inappropriate in that situation but if you are getting heart beating which is very fast and unprovoked most of the time it is usually seen in the young patient but it can happen in the child as well as in the elderly and we call as a paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia and this tachy uh, regarding this tachycardia we all should know because it is one of the most uh, important and one of uh, one of the most frequent cause of palpitation unprovoked palpitation palpitation means you are sitting and all of a sudden your heart rate has gone to 150 160 you become uncomfortable you are feeling feeling of doom is coming so this type of sensation or this type of symptoms are symptoms of paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia and this is one of the curable conditions because patients are not knowing they are not able to opt that treatment and whenever this arrhythmia like conditions come or when anybody is suspecting it is the cardiologist who are working in the electrophysiology domain which we call as a electrophysiologist they will be better able to deal the situation and they can solve the problem also because we practice in the electrical domain of the heart so heart beating is going very fast very slow we try to know the reason we rectify by giving the medicines and most of the time when it is a curable we give the electrical th therapy which we call as a ep study rf ablation means we study the electrical circuit of the heart and we ablate the abnormal circuit which is causing the palpitation like conditions so this is all nut cell regarding the arrhythmia means regarding the tachyarrhythmias when the heart rhythm is coming from the lower chamber which we call as a ventricular tachycardia the heart rate will be very fast and heart stops also and this is one of the cause for sudden death so when you are you are seeing in and around somebody uh, suddenly dying within seconds or minutes it is the cause because arrhythmia or ventricular tachycardia ventricular fibrillation is one of the important condition of sudden death and this is the reason for the cardiac arrest means heart will stop beating if it is prolonged if the person is getting uh, ventricular tachycardia for some time the heart will stop beating and the blood pressure will drop and brain will not re receive the nourishment what we call as a glucose and oxygen and it will stop working so person become unconscious and he can die also if it is prolonged and for that we are having the treatment we call as a ep study rf ablation one time sometime we give the devices like icds implantable cardiac defibrillator which is going to detect the rhythm problem if it is originating and it gives a therapy and correct the patient so patient become who is becoming on and off unconscious they will not become unconscious because the beating is been taken care by the icds so this is all about the high heart rate but when the heart rate is going low we give the other type of therapy we call as a pacemakers and pacemaker is implanted at uh, every nook and corner in the all the or but icd and crts are the higher procedure or we call as a devices for the rhythm uh, problem and these are the devices in which we detect the rhythm and we correct it by the device and if it is the rhythm problem is coming on and off then we have to do the ep study and rf ablation to treat it and cure it in some conditions and supraventricular paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia is one condition where it is curable 
So uh, it is a proud moment for us because uh, we started, we resumed our EP study RF ablation uh, procedure in our in this center after a long gap of uh, two years when there was a gap due to the corona. It has been resumed and we have completed a milestone of around 100 cases we have done over a course of uh, around uh, 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 12 to 14 months. So, and in that, it is not only the basic cases or we can say conventional procedures. We have done the advanced procedure like 3D mapping and ablation, which is around 30 percent cases are of that. Means there are complex arrhythmias, which for which the patient may have to go to out of the city or you have to go into uh, metros to avail that services. But we have provided those services in. Uh, care Bhumneshwar and we are able to uh, cure those condition and patients uh, got the benefit by being conducted in their own city and some of the cases has been done in the BK, uh, government sponsored program of uh, schemes of uh, BSKY also. So it is a great win for uh, the um, native of uh, uh, Odisha that they are able to avail the most advanced treatment at care uh, um, Bhumneshwar.